Rolex Cosmograph Daytona, reference 116520, a great timepiece with an even greater history. Born in 1963, it was initially called Cosmograph and it has been used by the drivers on the Daytona International Speedway who needed their timings and average speed quickly and easily. Becoming the official timepiece of this competition, Rolex awarded Cosmographs to the winners of the Landmark Endurance Race. Soon, they added the name Daytona to the dial. Even today, they give a Cosmograph to the winner of the Daytona 24 Hours Race. This is the descendant of one of the most iconic of all vintage watches, the Paul Newman Daytona, because the famous actor himself was an auto racing enthusiast and reportedly wore his Daytonas every day from 1972 until his death in 2008. The original Rolex Paul Newman Daytona is the reference 6239 steel bezel white exotic dial. It is downright gorgeous and I truly believe that it doesn't get any better than this. Returning to our modern piece, it has kept a lot of features from the Holy Grail Daytonas of the last century. It is the second generation featuring an automatic winding caliber. This particular one is their very first in-house automatic chrono movement, reference 4130, which succeeded since 2000 the El Primero movements. You can distinguish them from the register's position. The seconds register on the Zenital Primero caliber was at 9 o'clock, now it is swapped with the hours register. Moreover, both the hour and minute subdials were raised above the center axis of the dial by an angle of 7 degrees. And another visible difference is at the indexes, now they are a bit wider. It sets a new benchmark among high-end self-winding chronograph movements due to the vertical clutch serviceability, competing with very well-known brands. It winds 68% more efficient than the previous 4030 caliber. It has 72 hours power reserve and the balance wheel is mounted to a full bridge fixed securely on two sides for much improved shock and vibration resistance. All these big improvements are the mark of the Rolex long-standing noble pursuit of maximum timekeeping, accuracy and efficiency. The chronograph works sharp and it resets instantly, but I don't like the screw-down pushers. It looks great, but I think it lost that vintage appeal and clean design, which is a bad thing and if it doesn't show up a new Paul Newman to be associated with, I don't think this piece will be a very expensive and collectible watch. Yet, Rolex puts out on the market a considerable small number of Daytonas in steel and white face. So, if you want to buy one from an AD, you will be on a waiting list and you'll get the hands on it after at least 6 months. has a bulky but not very thick oyster case, screw down pushers, which hopefully in the next generation we will not see them, and an oyster bracelet with a new safety clasp. The overall quality is stunning and this is arguably a true statement watch that you can buy with a fair price of $12,000.